Hi, I'm Kim Foughton. I'm a certified public accountant and I teach accounting. I want you to come with me as we learn all about accounting basics. Accounting is the language of business and I'm going to teach you how to speak that language in this course. We're going to start out with just forms of ownership of different kinds of businesses, understand the differences between them, and then going a little bit into financial statement analysis so we can understand more about what's going on in our business or in a business we want to invest in or a competitor's business to figure out what's going on there. After that, we're going to learn all about the building blocks of accounting, debits and credits. We're going to make sure that you understand how we use debits and credits to capture our business transactions, to get all that information into our systems so we can get really good accounting data out to help us make great decisions about our business. Once we do that, we're going to go into business cycles. We're going to talk about the sales cycle and the receivables, how those work together. Then we're going to talk about inventory, how we account for and manage our inventory and our cost of goods sold. Two really important cycles that go that really manage our business operations. Once we've done that, we're going to jump into a little time value of money. Why a dollar today is worth more today than it will be in the future. Inflation helps us with that. And we want to make sure we have interest working for us and for our business and not against us. So we'll use a little time value of money to illustrate that. After that, we're going to move on to our long-term assets, our property, plant, and equipment, how we account for those, how we put those costs over different places in our uh, income statement and our balance sheet, how we make sure we allocate those costs to the right period, the period that we get our revenues from using those assets. Then moving on to our long-term debt, different ways of raising funds. We can raise funds through investments. We can raise funds through debt, and we want to make sure we have that appropriate mix and that we know how to account for long-term debt as well. After we're finished there, we're gonna go right on into our stockholders' equity. We're gonna learn about the different types of stocks a company can have. We're going to learn about paying dividends to our stockholders, one of the two ways that we can give a stockholder return on their investment in our company. We're going to learn about some of the rules around that and how we account for it. We're gonna finish up with a little more financial statement analysis, understanding a little bit more complex analyses that we're going to do, and then end everything with a little bit of tax. We're going to learn all about the different types of taxes there are, what the IRS can do, when they can do it to us, what the different kinds of audits the IRS performs, and I really hope you enjoy it. So join me with Accounting Basics. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.